Two days ago, when Betty Bradley called us to complain about a smoke problem from her neighbor Thelma Arana's barbecue grill, the grill was not in use. But earlier today, it was when Bradley called us to say that the problem remains the same for her. The smoke that the grill produces makes it difficult for her to breathe. The grill is located around the corner of the lane and behind a wall that prevents much of the smoke from drifting to the other yard. But Bradley said when the breeze picks up, the smoke goes right into her house and she wants it to stop. Today, she called representatives from the Belize City Council to address the matter, and they called the National Fire Service to respond. I no come yesterday and I talk to the lady and everything, and the lady said, oh yeah, close down the fire heart and everything, right? But then this morning I get up in a piece from 6 o'clock, say I want to get up and do my little washing and thing, and I mama, uh, when I do wash and everything, I see I got big smoke. I call city council. Okay, and what happened? And it seemed like city council sent the fire department. The fire is still lit, so I, yeah, I so think when the fire the man department come out. I asked him and said, "Sir, did you make the lady um, out the fire hat?" He said, "That's enough for the job for out the fire hat." So where you going to do? Thelma Arana told us that she does not use pine wood and took us to show us the fire that she had lit. She explained that there's little to no smoke that goes around the house to the neighbor's yard but that she has agreed to make whatever necessary adjustments to channel all the smoke through a chimney. For instance, they're not, they're not pine wood. I don't use pine wood. We use the um, coconut fox and the shell. That's the way I use. But um, I will end that soon because I need to um, build it like a chimney, uh -huh. a long chimney. Okay. Right then. And will you have anybody come and inspect it to ins sure. ensure that it's approved? As soon as uh, I finish, I'll make the fire department come and check it out and see if it's okay. And the city council, the health department as well? Who's ever come by, I'll let them see if it's all right. Thelma says that Friday will be the last day that she will use the grill to boil pigtails for her boil up before making the adjustments because that will require an investment and time to get it done. Bradley says she can cope with one more day without the chimney. How soon will that happen? Because the neighbor is saying that it's really affecting her. That will be maybe Monday. Monday? Monday. Okay, so next week, come next week, Thursday and Friday, as you had explained, mm -hmm. when you, you need to boil your stuff, that won't be an issue anymore. No, it's not going to be no this more. This is the last no time. More. This last time. Tomorrow will be the last time. So she's saying it, she will only do it for one more day, which is tomorrow. So I feel, I feel sacrifice me and my life. Please She's just me. asking for I don't have nothing with that, mommy. I don't have nothing with that. This lady could be biting tomorrow. The two women who admit that they have had differences in the past have both expressed that they want the bickering between them to stop. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.